everyone. I just wanted to hop on here today um, for just that my littlest one with me back here. Um, and so I wanted to squeeze in a little bit of yoga time while I had a quiet house, um, which doesn't have to happen very often around here. So let's get to it. Um, I'm just going to work on some, um, some hip openers and some just deep breathing and relaxation because that's what I need. <laughs> All right. So to start, we'll be in any comfortable position. We can bring our hands on our knees. We can start to roll through the shoulders and like really start to loosen up those muscles, pull down through the shoulder blades and press up through the sternum, kind of pull forward a little bit. Relax the collarbones down and out. Feel that muscle and that tension just kind of like open up and wide and down. We want to lift up through the crown of the head. Imagine that there's like a string attached to the crown of your head and you're just being lifted just nice and gently by that, just giving you that upward motion and getting really aligned and light, get some space in there. I know I've been really like hunched all day, so even just sitting up like this feels really opening. It's so sad. Ah, so here we'll close our eyes and we'll take a, our attention to the breath. Notice where we're breathing and how we're breathing. If we're breathing in the upper portion of the chest or if we're bringing that air all the way down to the, the navel, letting that belly button come out when we take that inhale. Just notice where we're at there. And then once you notice where you're at, start to take over the breath and make that breath go a little bit deeper. So take a nice deep inhale, bring that air all, that air all the way down to the bottom of your lungs, fill all the way up through the collarbones. And then when you exhale, exhale from the collarbones down through to the belly, kind of pulling that in as we force the rest of that air out. So take a couple deep breaths, just like that, those deep belly breaths. And we can start to do some neck rotations. So we'll roll the neck one way. Keep awareness of your breath. And then we will roll our head the other way, opposite direction. As you inhale, try to bring your head around the back and as you exhale, come forward. So we're inhaling, crown of the head around the spine and exhaling the chin over the chest. Inhale and exhale. We can come back to center. Loosen up through the neck and the shoulders. And here we're going to let the legs come out in front of us. Um, we'll have them be about hip width apart for a little bit of space to be created in the hips instead of having them right straight together. Have them a little bit apart there. We'll point the toes up towards the sky. Take a big breath, lift the arms up tall, and exhale, bring those hands down towards your feet. The important part here is to keep your spine straight. So we want to Try and keep that chest coming forward. Hi, Stella. Instead of hunching over or like curling the spine in, we want to stay nice and straight, letting the back of um, the hips and that sacrum area open up down there. And just let ourselves kind of come down <sighs> into this pose, really sink in with the breath. If you have little ones with you, this is something that they can easily do for sure. Or you can just take this time for you. One more big breath here. Kind of feel how we sink in. A little deeper with each exhale. We can slowly kind of peel ourselves back up from that, shake it out through the legs. And here we're just going to bring our right leg in, 
And take a big inhale, lift our right arm or our left arm up. And then as we exhale, bring that left arm down. We're going to turn that right shoulder and open up to the center. So that we open up that chest and just turn towards the, towards the sky. If you want, you can lift that right arm up. If that feels good, kind of opening up through your shoulder. And then we can start to come out of there and move nice and slowly. We want to uh, move with awareness. And let our body kind of guide us, let our breath guide us through what we need. So we'll switch to the other side. This time we'll lift our right arm up nice and tall and exhale, bring it down and then we can turn uh, that left shoulder out and open. Again, you can let that left arm just kind of hang out here by your left hip or you can lift that arm up. Whatever feels better for you. The belly breaths, kind of feel that side body opening up here. One more deep inhale. And as we exhale, we can slowly move out. Oh, we can shake it out in our body, shake it out through the legs. And this time we're gonna bring our right leg up again. We're gonna place it about palms width away from our left thigh, and we're gonna do a nice deep twist here. We'll bring our right hand back behind us, point the fingertips away from our bottom, lift that left arm up, take a nice big inhale, and as you exhale, come around and press through. We're gonna bring our gaze over that right shoulder Look at the back wall. Keep that left foot engaged. I was leaving it sloppy a little bit. We want to engage that left leg as we twist. Whew, twist open through the spine. This pose is really great for your organs and really gets all your lymph nodes and all your fluids and things moving through. It's like wringing out a dirty dish towel, more or less. We're all just dirty dish towels. <laughs> hmm. All right, take one more deep inhale. Even though it's difficult, take a deep inhale. Oh, and exhale, you can slowly start to let go. Unwind, come back around, let that right leg go. Oof. Turn your spine a little bit. And then we can bring that left leg in. Again, about a palms width away from that right leg. Keep that right foot and right leg energized. We'll bring the left hand back behind us. Fingertips pointing away from the, the spine. And here we'll take a nice big inhale. Lift that right arm up. And exhale, bring it around the left leg and turn towards the back of the, of the room and the back of your mat. Bring that awareness back to that right leg and point up those toes. My goodness, Stella. You're so cute. You're so cute. Take a couple big breaths. Twist a little deeper. And then we can release, let go, come back around. Whew. Open up the chest. You can shake out through the legs. And here we're gonna bring our legs apart a little bit. A little bit more about mat width apart. About as, as far as my mat is. Take a big breath, lift your arms up nice and tall. Inhale and exhale down towards the center. You can reach your hands in the middle or you can reach them back out to your hands if you'd like, whatever feels better for you. I like to pull back on my toes a little bit help open up all those all those energy channels all those places Oof. in your feet that don't usually get touched or moved kind of give yourself a little massage while you're down there hmm. 
Take another deep breath here. And we can start to peel ourselves back up. Here we're gonna come on to all fours. Um, and we just wanna make sure that our wrist, elbow, and shoulder are all in alignment and that our knee and our hips are in alignment there. We're gonna do a couple cat cows. So that's while, um, just as we inhale, we're gonna dip that spine down. We're gonna be crown of the head and the tailbone up towards the sky. And then when you exhale, come in like a Halloween cat, just squeezing in on that exhale. So inhale, dip the spine down, bring the crown of the head and the tailbone up, and exhale in. A couple more breaths, just like that. Inhaling up, and exhaling in. And inhaling up. Exhaling, coming in. We're gonna bring our big toes together and let your knees space apart. We're gonna come back into a child's pose. So just let your hips come uh, all the way back and sit on your heels and let your arms kind of splay forward here. Take a couple breaths. You can walk your hands towards you when they are right out front. We're gonna plant that left hand into the mat. Lift our right arm up and then exhale, thread it through. So it's just going right underneath that left arm. Turn that palm up and let yourself come down. Open up that shoulder a little bit. Take a few deep breaths. You can start to press up through that left hand, bring the right arm out. And then here we'll take a big breath, lift that left hand up. And exhale, bring it down and through, and lay down on that side. Big belly breaths, nice exhales. Just always bringing your awareness back to your breath whenever your mind starts to wander. You can start to press up through that right hand, bring that left hand through, and come back into that cat-cow pose. And just kind of move oof, through your shoulders, through your hips, any way that you want. We just call it a freestyle cat, more or less. Just move where your body needs you to move. And then we're going to come on to our bottoms. We're going to wrap it up with a couple um, hip openers. So um, the first one we're going to do is just bringing our feet as wide as we can slash is comfortable. And once we're there, we really want to sit our bodies up nice and straight. Point your toes up towards the sky. Uh, straighten up through your spine. And then here we'll take a couple big breaths. Oh. We'll inhale, lift those arms up nice and tall. Hi, Stella. And exhale, start to, again, we don't want to curve in the spine. We want to keep the spine nice and straight as we come down. And we can place our hands down wherever we want to stop moving ourselves forward. You can always kind of sink in as you're breathing. But just keeping that chest forward is really the most most important part here to bring nice deep stretch through your thighs and through the lower back. Again, we want to take those deep belly breaths, bringing that air all the way down through the belly button so that we can feel that space being created through the pelvic floor. With those nice deep inhales, 
We should be able to sink in a little deeper with all of our exhales. Oh no, someone's getting sassy. Hmm. Couple breaths here. Whenever she starts to get sassy, I usually just peel her over onto the mat and talk. Take a couple more breaths. You can kind of move from one side to the other. You can experiment with moving your hands over to one side. Walk them through the middle, come over to the other side. Come through the middle. If there's any certain spot that feels particularly uh, deep, I suppose, if you really are getting that nice deep stretch, try and stay there for a couple extra breaths and really help loosen up those tight spots in your body. <sighs> well, my friends, that is all I have time for today. You can wrap up with any other ways that you feel you need your body to move uh, before you are, you are finished. Uh, and I always suggest a nice savasana if you can. Or corpse pose, which is, yeah, just laying on the ground. And enjoy that. Thanks, everybody, for being here. I appreciate it. Thanks for sharing your self-time with me. And I'll see you soon. Bye.